Hello, my sheep. How are you? I'm not particularly rather unwell, but there's been something on my mind for quite a while now, and I figured I'd make a video on it. I'd like to make a formal request. Can we stop with this grotesque trend of setting science fiction in the 2020s, 30s, or any time in the early half of the 21st century? Preferably, no time I would be alive, so 2091 should be a pretty good starting point. And go on from there. In 1960, a long time, 56 years ago, we thought that by the end of the 20th century, which, for the unaware, was the year 2000, we would be living in glass-domed cities where walking would be obsolesced by those automatic runways you see in airports, and people would have personal helicopters to get to their work. While their homes, shopping and cooking, not to mention their personal lives, would be automated with computers. And guess what? 2000 rolled around and we had none of that. <coughs> well, I mean, we did have the. We did have social networking, but we imagined in 1960. People just can't do that kind of thing in, what, 40 years? And you expect brain transplants into computers, human-like artificial intelligence, and nanotechnology organ and limb replacement in just eight? Are you guys mental? Right now, it's the penultimate month of the year 2016, so that means that the year 2020, start of the 2020s decade, which seems all too popular with video games from about five years ago, and 19th year of the 21st century, will start in less than four years. When was the last time you noticed a huge jump in technology within a four year time frame? Last I can remember is 1977 to 1981, and that was only in the computer world. And even then, the IBM PC didn't have much more advantages than the Apple II, just a bigger name and a modified version of an already existing DOS. Meanwhile, creative minds think that 2021 will be as different from today as 1901 was from 1951. Newsflash, it's not 1901 anymore. We're pretty close to a new year in technology, at least for now. Hell, in 2021, I'll still own a computer that runs Windows 98 SE on bare metal. And guess what? The internet will still work on it. Sure, not without a hassle and some broken web pages, but almost four years really don't make much of a difference in the world of the PC. Especially now the computers, and that includes cellular telephones and personal digital assistants, are mostly used for the internet and not so much for applications. And when applications are run, they're usually video games connected to, well, the internet. Or internet browsers. Tell me what major technological advancement you think will be released in 2028, and I'll tell you something that's guaranteed not to see the light of day for another 20 years. Nanotechnology. I just saw it too silly, honestly. If you do manage to make nanotechnology, and in the 2020s, I'll raise another question. Why not spend that time more productively, like, say, developing crutches for our cri crippling societies, developing crutches for a crippling society of consumptions on coming slow oil crisis, or a way to prepare food so that we can ship some of it off to Africa and be done with people saying an African child could have eaten that. <coughs> Both are the only technologies I've yet to see in a science fiction game set in the 20s. And the last bastions of realism in an increasingly ridiculous fictional world. And human-like artificial intelligence is another bugbear of mine. We won't do it, not in your lifetime, my lifetime, or any of YouTube staff's time, lifetimes. It'll happen in 2391. If it happens at all. Note, if this per... Note. If this video is preserved and still exists in 2391 and you're watching this from the comfort of your bed, chair, or nesting consciousness ball, of course I don't know that it will happen in that year. And congratulations for preserving the video this long. I have to give you a salute 375 years in advance. But until then, leave the AI. But until then, leave the AIs at the door and chalk its rampages to bugs in the system, viruses, and rogue operators got no patience for the unrealistic ballistic control system because listen to me when I say this computers don't work that way 
a computer cannot and will never make a qualitative judgment on the character, intent, or physical appearance of a human being, fellow computer, Apple, or anything else unless a programmer makes it feign an opinion to make it feel intelligent. Computers will never be people, and they will never have human-like consciousness, and there is, without hyperbole, zero chance that it will ever happen, because that's just not how computers work. That may be how they work in fiction, where the author is more concerned with telling a story than accuracy, but in real life, rules rule. And computers only work through a system of rules. And all of us will be alive to see the decade, I think. Three years might be a while, but it's not that long, and most people on the internet are young, around 2 to 30. Most people on the internet, as you hear the sentence, will be alive in 2050, and that's 34 years into the future. My suggestion is, if you want to make sci-fi, make sure you don't live to see the year it's set in. Unless you're 84, or a cancer patient, of course, in which case congratulations for getting a television show with those chances. If you're likely to die in the next 20 years, set it outside the lifespan of the target audience. If you're making a Star Trek, and your target audience is 18 to, tw is 18 to 34 year olds, well, actually, that was a bad example, since Star Trek was set in the 2260s. Although that would be a good example of what I mean. If you're making a television show similar to Star Trek, and aiming it at 18 to 34-year-olds, make sure that it doesn't start anywhere near before the 22nd century, which is to say 2100 and below, and that way people can still go back to enjoy it on their deathbeds. <laughs> But my sheep have gotta go. Toodaloo goes gone. And don't take any wooden nickels. Leave a comment down below with what bothers you about various settings across any genre, and I'll feature the best, that is, if I get any, in the next rant video.